Hi guys, I'm Anton from Anton's Mindstorms Hacks. It's my pleasure here to present to you this Mindcuber by David Gilday. I've um, been lucky to uh, have received uh, and downloaded the building instructions for this one. I um, downloaded a little program into the Spike Hub and uh, built this one. I've had a lot of fun uh, with this one so far. It's an amazing build and it's built with only the parts of the Spike Prime base kit. Uh, you do have to open the bag of extras um, to be able to build this, but it's still it's an amazing feat that this very complex machine has been built with only the Spike Prime base kit. Um, uh, me being me, I've changed this one a little bit. Um, I wanted to make the face of the machine a bit of an old guy um, with a beard and all. And I made this um, um, like seat or podium where the onlookers could watch the show and just snap it on here so they can start watching. Now let's uh, take this machine for a spin. So I've got this cube. I'm going to mess it up um, as well as I can. Uh, what I really like about this machine also is that it takes almost any cubes. I have um, a couple of different ones and the shades on the, on the, on the colors, they all differ, differ a little bit and somehow this uh, robot scans them right, which is I think an amazing feat and, and it works on in very different lighting conditions. Uh, I tried it in different rooms and it just keeps working. So that's an amazing bit of um, color detection there and uh, calculation. Um, the math behind this is really complex. So um, uh, actually um, there, there is a big database now inside this Spike Prime hub that um, the robot looks into for solving this cube. I think I messed it up about <laughs> right now. So it's it's really it's really um, yeah nothing. No okay. So now I'm happy. Nothing is aligned anymore. And let's see how quickly this robot will solve that cube. There we go, we just insert it here and the ultrasonic detector sees it and it starts scanning. Wow, wasn't that amazing? 
it solved this cube and it actually solves it way faster than I can do it. I'm just not good at this stuff so I'm really happy to have uh, this robot. Let's have a look at the mechanisms involved here. Um, I really like this one here to manipulate the block so just with one motor this robot is able to both um, turn the block so it first pulls it halfway and then pushes it back until it's like t flipped 90 degrees and with the same motor it can also um, hold the block in place in order to um, to turn the um, to turn some layers here on the on the Rubik's cube uh, it's kind of hard to because there is some gearing here so it's hard to make it run uh, manually but this is pretty much how this works and then it can go back here turn it and do another layer so that's really an amazing build here um, also the scanning is pretty accurate um, and I like how you can like customize whoops <laughs> there goes my customization how you can customize your version of the like person in this robot so um, I'd say great work David and I'd encourage everyone interested in this to go uh, to his website uh, download the building instructions download coding and start playing around with this one I hope it will get you interested in the mathematics behind this because it's really complex it's way beyond me um, but maybe you know it'll interest you and um, you can you can learn a thing or two about uh, math and probabilities and um, algorithms and way to solve this one if you're any good at uh, Rubik's cube solving you can uh, race it so um, it's a lot of fun to do Okay, that's it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.